Hi, uh, Jared Yeager from the Post Millennial. Uh, it was recently reported that Trudeau's own justice minister had his car stolen three times in as many years. Uh, if this isn't, isn't enough to convince the liberals to take action and crack down on auto theft, what is? <laughs> I, sorry, I don't, I, it's, it's just hard not to laugh at the irony of it. But you know, I have to say, these car thieves have no gratitude. Here, the justice minister is letting them out of jail for stealing cars. You'd think that they would show him some courtesy in exchange, but instead they keep stealing his car. It's unbelievable. I would have thought that they would have been grateful to this justice minister for him letting them out of prison uh, within hours of their arrest. But no, uh, they are te stealing his car too. And that is life after just eight years of Justin Trudeau. Uh, everybody is at risk now. These stories, we didn't have these stories before Trudeau. Uh, he has caused an explosion in car theft. Uh, and uh, good news is that life wasn't like this before Trudeau. And it won't be like this after he's gone. Under the previous common sense conservative government, we cut car theft by half. I'll say that again. We cut car theft by half. Anybody doubting whether or not these common sense policies I'm laying out work? Remember, we cut car theft by half. We cut violent crime by 25%. We brought down crime with our common sense policies. They work. They're proven. Let's bring it home. Thank you. In analyzing the liberal stance on crime and justice, Pierre Poilievre highlights a notable irony. Gaining praise from Democratic audiences. He emphasizes the need for decisive action against car theft and questions the Minister of Justice's benevolence. Poilievre advocates for the adoption of common-sense policies, drawing on the successful strategies of past conservative governments. Public sentiment supports a practical and proven approach grounded in common sense to address issues like car theft and violent crime. Pierre Poilievre's discourse underscores the effectiveness of common-sense policies focusing on individual will and freedom of choice. He firmly advocates for their implementation, criticizing Justin Trudeau's leadership flaws and the impact of his policies on crime rates. Paul Yaver expresses hope for a different future, post-Trudeau, highlighting a shift from current concerns and societal divisions. He suggests that Trudeau's politically motivated policies exacerbate problems rather than addressing individual responsibility in generating and solving issues.